Hello everybody, this is the Daydreamer with Daydreams and Nightmares and it is time for another unboxing. This time it is going to be the BAM Anniversary Box. This is going to be the first time I've ever gotten a BAM box other than the uh, fire sale which is um, at this point the only thing I've gotten from BAM box. I've enjoyed a few of the things that they've had out there. Um, and looking forward to what is in here. Now I've opened this up already because I don't know if you can see this. Um, the box is slightly damaged right here and I was concerned that maybe that something was going on inside here and actually I'll show you. Um, it seems that the uh, one item that I knew was coming in this box which I absolutely love this is the Friday the 13th mass signed by Ari Lehman right here. Um, it would seem that this box here is uh, was a little too small for this mask. And as you can see on the mask right here, this is probably be the only complaint I have about it. I think it's an awesome uh, keepsake, but. Um, especially because of the way that they did the design of the blood on here. You can see right here on the tip of the nose how all of that rubbed off. Because what happened is, and the reason why it was damaged, let me set this down right here. Um, you can see on the inside of the box, that's why it did it, all the color rubbed off and was actually poking up out of the inside of the box there. So that is why... Uh, it looked like there was some damage on the outside. It's because when the cover is closed down on the box here, it just, the box wasn't big enough to hold that mask. So a little disappointed. Um, I know that all of these were done custom and um, for the most part it's supposed to be distressed anyway. So I mean it, it kind of adds to the look but it's kind of obvious on the mask there that it did take a little bit of all that rubbed off right in the nose but once again great 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 collectible piece other than a little bit of minor as I said cosmetics on the mask there uh, very very happy and very excited this is one of the big reasons why I ordered this box uh, big huge horror fan great, great to have a uh, collectible like this and it was great. I know uh, one of the very first boxes that they put out last year uh, that was a random item and in this one everybody was going to get one and that's especially one of the reasons why um, I had ordered this box. Um, also in here, oh and it did come also, as you had to point out as well, if you look in the bottom here it has a sticker in here for uh, BAM and comes with a certificate of authenticity as well that comes with the mask. Also, uh, they did have uh, the out of time plates that they gave out before. Uh, in this one there's some additional plates. I got uh, Illinois Nervous. Um, I have to check the book and actually see what this what this one is from. Um, I, I think I know what it is, but I'll have to double check the book here. I put the spoiler book to the side here. Don't want to get too ahead of myself. Um, there is a pin usually in every box. This one looks like brass knuckles zombie. Pretty cool. go that's awesome we have Christopher Umunga print band box authentic it's eeny meeny miny mo with uh, Negan's bat and what I'm assuming is a zombie version of um, Glenn that's what it looks like anyway that's a nice piece Uh, oh, uh, first time uh, 
It was also said that uh, all first time uh, people that signed up with the man box were going to get an additional autographed item. This is an extra item in the box. Uh, okay. Uh, Bam Box Certificate Authenticity. This is an autograph katana photo from Suicide Squad, Karen Fukuhara. And the irony is, this is my first box I've ever gotten from Bam Box. And of all the signatures that I could get, and all the pictures that I could get, I get the one I already have. Um, this is the one that I got in the uh, fire sale, uh, the second wave of the fire sale. I love, I love this picture, and it's great to have it. But now I've got two of them, and as like you said, the irony is, is I've only ever gotten one before, and I get a in this box I get one I already have. And the last thing in the box. Now to the bottom here is they said they were going to be including some uh, film cells. This is uh, has a certificate of authenticity. The certificate is to authenticate this original hand painted production animation cell from the animated series The Real Ghostbusters. This artwork is one of a kind. Uh, original piece of art that was used to or in the production of this cartoon. There are no two alike in the world. And it is of Slimer. I actually have all of them that I could get. Actually I think this is an awesome one. I actually do enjoy this. This is an awesome, awesome item to get in a box. Actually, I'm gonna. There's a. It's with a background here, but what it is is a. It's painted right on here. It's a painted cell. That is awesome. I'll have definitely have to frame this. That is a very very neat, unique thing to get in a box like this. Get that put away in here. I guess I definitely will have to put that in a frame. Okay, set that aside, grab the book. Anniversary Bam Box. Bam Box is one year old. Bam parody pins. There are four available. Uh, they have it set up with the BAM box that if you get the exclusive one, you get actually both ver uh, both the original version and the variant version of it. Looks like this one was a limited edition to 250. You could have gotten uh, the strange hat and or these two. Actually, I would like to have actually gotten the hat. Uh, I didn't get a chance to get the strange box. I had a second shot at it when they did the most recent fire sale when they were cleaning out the closet but uh, by the time I got online that last fire sale was up and down I think in 41 minutes never even had an opportunity to try to order it but that was what was being offered up was uh, either this or the Ski Ulrich mask from uh, Scream but I would like to have had that pin as well big fan of Stranger Things if you haven't figured it out. Uh, Bambox exclusive prints were either the Negan or the Battle Bros. Now as much as I am a comic book fan, I actually like the fact that I got the Walking Dead one. Um, as I am also a big huge horror fan and watch the Walking Dead show. So I'm a, I'm a fan of getting the Eeny Meeny Miny Mo print. Custom Hockey Mask signed by Ari Lehman. The original There we are. It's that there as well. And one of a kind animation cells, and that, I think that's the one one thing about it as well. These are one of a kind. Uh, they were from different cells from the uh, cartoons, so there's only one 
on each of them as they were progressed as they made them. So it is a unique gift. It, it, I mean, you don't, nobody's going to have the same thing that you have. That is, it, that is an awesome thing. And the fact that it's Slimer that I got is an awesome thing as well. But according to this, these are all from the 80s. Uh, cartoons which included the real Ghostbuster, Sonic, uh, Captain N, Street Fighter. Um, I have seen some that have been uh, posted. Some people have shown um, uh, they have gotten, uh, I'm trying to think, Dennis the Menace and Super Dave. Oh, yep, that's what it was. It was uh, the Illinois Nervous one was for Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Uh, most of the ones I've seen other people get were the other two, so I couldn't remember what the other one was. The other, he had uh, either Knight Rider or Stan Classy from... Uh, so I, I actually I, I like the fact that I got one from Ferris Bueller. I'm a big fan of the movie, and Knight Rider would have been just as good as well. Not a big fan of the uh, uh, Ron Burgundy, Anchorman... I just, I, I don't get Will Ferrell. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, that is everything in here. Uh, next month's theme is for the 90s. And I'll get to that in a second. Do a little bit of review of what we got. Once again. Uh, because, once again, this is part of my... These two boxes had a little bit of an internet battle going with each other. One saying that one wasn't very good, and these guys had a down month and uh, didn't weren't putting out very good content. And I hadn't really gotten anything from either of them, so I thought I'd get them both and kind of compare them and see what I got myself into here. Uh, the Ari Lehman mask, absolutely wonderful. Great piece of uh, horror memorabilia, especially with uh, Ari Lehman's signature here. It's my only complaint. Is the fact that it was put in a uh, in the box open without anything covering it, and the fact that it was put into too small of a box so that it wound up getting a little bit of damage here. But uh, otherwise, I'm very happy with this. Um, the this this is an, like I said, this is an awesome thing to put in a box like this. Uh, I really am a am a, a huge Slimer fan, so happy to get this as well. Um, the extra item that came with this, I like it. I'm a big, huge fan of of Katana, and uh, and I like the uh, movie. Uh, Karen Fukuhara is a great actress. I like the fact that I have a signed piece of art, a uh, 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 signed uh, autograph from her. It just is that it just so happens that I only have one signed. Celebrity autograph from Bambox, and it happens to be this one, so that's kind of a letdown um, in that respect. It, and and I suppose there's no way for them to know at Bambox if that's what they were sending me. I know where it, there was another version of this, and I don't know if they were giving anything other than Suicide Squad out, but I would like to have gotten something different. Um, the Bambox original parody pen, Zombie. I'm a, I'm a horror fan. I can get on board with this. Uh, of the pins, I probably would have rather have had the Stranger Things one, but I will work with that. This Eeny Meeny Miny Mo, awesome print. Very much like this artwork here. Original license plate. Land of Lincoln, Nervous, from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Nice little piece of movie memorabilia as well. So, for me, this is a pretty good box. Um, but here's where, where things get interesting as well. Um, like I said, I like this. Um, I was expecting to like it. I knew that a lot of their best things from the year were going to be in this box. Uh, and some of the things I'm a, uh, I mean I would have liked some other things in this box as well but for all for the most part I, I, I love the box uh, it's, and for the price point um, just getting the mask and the the, the one print and, and the animation cell absolutely above and beyond what I paid for this so in that respect it's a great box um, but 
Um, as in with all of these boxes, it is a mystery box. So it is a, a complete crapshoot and you never know what you're going to get and based on the themes um, I've already uh, put the uh, skip on the next month. Uh, I wasn't a 90s kid. Um, I grew up in the 70s and 80s. I was in college in the 90s. Um, I don't know based on what I see here whether or not there is enough that's going to be in this next box that is going to make it worth it for me. Um, so I skipped the one for the 90s. I haven't completely gone away from BAM box, but if we're talking, you know, boom boxes and music and uh, probably going to be uh, Will Smith and, and Water Gun. It, unless they tease something else that I feel like I absolutely have to have, I don't see myself uh, wanting anything. I can't think of anybody that, from the 90s, even if they're going to Saved by the Bell or or with Mighty Morphin Power Rangers or even, I, I would be incredibly surprised if they can manage to get a signature from somebody like Will Smith um, and Fresh Prince and, and that in that respect. Um, but anyway, uh, so I'm I am going to skip this one unless they unless they uh, like it said tease out something that I absolutely can't pass up on. But for now, um, anyway, um, I really did like this box. Um, and we'll keep an open mind with respect to Bambox as well and to the nature of what they have in here. For, for the most part, you know what you're going to be getting are pretty much going to be uh, signature-based items, art-type items, print-type items, comic books, um, and the occasional um, item like the mask here. You're always going to get a specialized pin. And I know they've been doing a lot of work, too, with the pins with Butcho Vision. And I hope they continue to do that because some of the things that he does that I've seen come uh, from Butcher Vision is definitely worth them getting on board and getting him to do more pins for them because everything I've seen come out, out of uh, Butcher Vision has been great. Uh, they should keep doing that and doing collaborations with him. But yeah, I did enjoy the box. Um, if you enjoy my video, uh, hit like down below. If you want to watch more of my videos, please subscribe. Uh, feel free to leave any comments or uh, s uh, feedback down below and stay tuned because my next video is going to uh, be taking and doing what I said I was going to do which is taking this box and matching it up against the uh, what Nerd Block has to offer and g uh, give my opinion on where we are at with the war of words between the two companies. Anyway, thank you for watching.